immediately expel the Israeli ambassador from this country and impose uh, serious sanctions on Israel for the war crimes that they are committing unabated against the people of Gaza. Uh, trickle of aid, which is really just a PR exercise by Israel, but in reality is, is a fraction of what is needed to deal with the humanitarian catastrophe that is now taking place as Israel starves 2.2 million people of water, of food, of electricity, of medical supplies and other equipment necessary uh, to deal with this uh, catastrophic uh, emergency resulting from the murderous, savage bombardment by Israel uh, of Gaza. We believe uh, words of concern uh, are not enough. The Irish government need to impose sanctions that should begin with the expulsion of the Israeli ambassador uh, and be followed by comprehensive economic, political uh, and trade sanctions. And we should be publicly calling, our government should publicly call for the referral of uh, Israeli political and military leaders to the International Criminal Court for the commission of war crimes. These are self-confessed war, war crimes uh, where we are seeing in front of our eyes the wholesale slaughter or indiscriminate murder uh, of thousands of Palestinians and the ethnic cleansing of a million uh, Palestinians from uh, northern Gaza. We have also written to the Count Corla this morning asking for a particular debate about the role of the uh, Israeli diplomatic mission in this country because as well as justifying the slaughter of thousands of people in Gaza and the war crimes being committed, uh, they are also now criticising the Irish president uh, for calling them out uh, for, uh, for their crimes uh, and of course we had a tweet uh, coming from the deputy head of mission accusing the Irish government of somehow uh, funding terrorism, an outrageous claim but indicating that there's really no length that Israel, and in this case the diplomatic mission of Israel, will go to uh, to try and uh, blunt, neutralise, undermine legitimate criticism, necessary criticism of the crimes uh, that Israel are committing. Uh, we believe there needs to be a debate, uh, uh, but we want to see the result of that debate being the expulsion of the ambassador and the imposition of sanctions on Israel. murdered. So I'm not going to accept a sort of one-sided narrative that the United States and Britain, European Union leaders, and to some extent our own government have pushed, is that all this began with the actions uh, that took place on October the 7th. Uh, what we are dealing with are the bitter consequences of decades of persecution of the Palestinians by Israel with administrative detention, with the siege of Gaza, with ethnic cleansing, with settler violence against Palestinians, uh, and then uh, an escalation of violence that flows from that. So I just also want to say a word about Courtney Carey, uh, for those who are not familiar. She contacted me in the last few days. Um, Sorry, yesterday, uh, yesterday morning, I think it was, yesterday afternoon, I can't remember the time, but she, she contacted our office, I talked to her this morning, and uh, she was sacked by the company Wix that operate down uh, in Grand Canal Dock, uh, which is an Israeli-owned company, and really it's quite, uh, quite extraordinary uh, what happened to Courtney. She was sacked because she put up posts sympathetic to the Palestinians and calling out uh, the uh, crimes of Israel against the Palestinians and pointing to the fact that the origin of this current terrible escalation of violence was the Israeli occupation, the apartheid system, the siege of Gaza, and for that she was uh, sacked. Uh, so this is really shocking uh, stuff, uh, and uh, but you know indicating that this company appear to be operating as a mouthpiece for uh, Israeli propaganda to attack anybody who voices legitimate and widespread criticism of Israel for the crimes uh, that is is uh, committing.